This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. My story is pretty short and sweet. Um, Just like a million people, when I was young, I played the Ouija board way too much. And ever since then, weird things had happened to me. Um, I never used to watch a lot of ghost shows or horror movies that would give me, give me any ideas or jog my imagination. So this was very, um, very unexpected what happened. Um, I was married and I would not, um, my husband and I were getting separated and so I would not sleep in the bedroom with him. Um, something, I I felt like something just kind of told me to sleep in the other room and wanted me to sleep in the other room. And at night I would feel, um, like something came into the room regularly and, it was very comforting when it came into the room. Um, it actually would be what made me go to sleep. This happened for about two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. I noticed that I, my personality was changing. I figured it was everything I was going through. Um, but after about two weeks of this happening, I'd wake up in the morning and I would be able to, I would look in the mirror and I just wouldn't look like myself. My eyes would be really, my pupils would be really big or I just didn't look like myself when I'd look in the mirror and it scared me, but I figured, you know, maybe I'm not sleeping enough and that's making me look tired or different. Basically my reflection in the mirror looked scary. It scared me. I didn't recognize myself but I I didn't think anything of it. I had no reason to think it was odd. Finally, one morning I woke up and I was getting in the shower. I looked at the mirror and I noticed that I had a bruise on my right shoulder. So I looked really close to the mirror and it, it was not a bruise. It was teeth marks. But it was a small bite, like um, like as if like a baby had full set of teeth had bit me, and on that was on my right shoulder. And then, as I looked closer, I noticed that there were scratches on my neck, but not um, deep scratches. It was like as if somebody had taken the tip of a needle and just kind of pushed and dragged it on my skin, just enough to bring blood to the surface of my skin. And I noticed that it was spelling out a word. It said L-A-M, and then I thought it was an E. And I was like, oh, my God, something trying to tell me I'm lame. I, I didn't think anything of it, honestly. I figured when I got out of the shower, I might show somebody later, but I was so preoccupied with everything I had going on in my life that I didn't think much of it. So... I got in the shower and I got out and I tried to look at it again and it was gone. And this was like a bruised bite mark and almost blood coming through the skin. So it should not have gone away, but it did. It wasn't until six years later that I was talking to um, a demonologist, somebody that through a matter of odd events I ran into And he said, well, maybe your neck said lamb, L-A-M-B. And I had thought B before, but I never put together lamb and what was happening. And um, I had never heard of an incubus before. So after that happened and um, 
let me backtrack a little bit. After that bite mark and scratch happened, I um, stopped being myself completely. I went through a couple years of a downward spiral and by all accounts, I should be dead. Um, during that time, I would find trinkets um, like little crosses or St. Michael pendants, and I would find them in the, the most odd places <clears throat> in the, all over the place, wherever I was. One time I went to get in my car, and there was a St. Michael pendant just on the ground in the asphalt underneath my car. So... Um, Anyway, I got through that time of my life and survived. I actually ended up getting baptized, and I only got baptized because I wanted to make a change in my life. I didn't get baptized because I was thinking that this was uh, anything supernatural. I, I, didn't, I never put two and two together until years later, like I said. So the point of me sharing this, even though it sounds totally crazy and I don't really open up to anybody about this, is... I absolutely do believe in that stuff, and I hope that if something like this was to happen to somebody else, that they would take it seriously and that they would realize right away what was happening and how odd it was, whether they believe it or not, and kind of do something like get baptized or get involved in whatever their higher power is a little closer and maybe they can avoid some of the other events that happened to me um, after it. Anyway, thank you so much for your show. My new husband and I listen to it regularly, and we just really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Bye. This has been a Grave Confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your Grave Confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813.